Hello guys, welcome back. So today is Friday, December 13th. Um, so, you know, Friday the 13th. Just wanted to come on here and, you know, update you guys on basically like, you know, updates and stuff like that. So I'm hoping you guys are not mind my appearance. I know I look super tired. Um, but basically, you know, life has been crazy the past, um, you know, couple of days. I don't know why it looks like I have a little easy eye, you guys. But it's been a rough couple of days. Basically, the whole month of December has been rough. I also did finish my semester. As many of you guys might not know, I was taking classes towards my business degree, which I kind of, you know, regret now not finishing. did have two classes left for, you know, my business degree and stuff like that. But who knows if later on, you know, I'll finish it. Because, um, you know, it's a degree and I'm kind of kind of am you know regretting it now um so i did finish my class yesterday i went to go take my final that class was literally hard like it was a um statistics course and i and i have taken statistics before um but it was basically physiology um statistics which was easier the professor was you know amazing i really loved how she taught me um statistics and basically i passed that statistics that statistics course with the name um and you know that statistics course would not count towards my business degree so i had to take a different type of statistics which was economical um statistics and that's what i was taking this semester that class was hard you guys i struggled so much in that class um and you know i'm glad i'm done with that class so i'm basically done um for the fall semester you know basically i'm going to have you know winter break for a month until i start nursing school and basically just wanted to come on here and you know update you guys on you know how the process has been going um so far so today i did end up going so today i did end up going to go pick up my uniform it was there for like a week basically almost a week they called me last week and i have been so busy that i did not have time you know to go in and go pick it up so this morning i told myself that i had to go pick it up because you know i did not w want them to call me again and you know remind me when like you know i already know that i have to go get it but i did end up going to go pick it up today so let me just show you guys i'll just sh show you guys the pants because they do not have my school's name on it but i did purchase two uniforms as you guys saw in my other vlog i did take you guys with me to go um you know script shopping and stuff like that and it was different colors but I did end up getting them, as you guys can see here. This is a size petite in in small. Um, you know, I am going to try them on and see if they fit me. If they don't, you know, I'll go and tell them. But I did purchase it too, as you guys can see here. You know, just in case of like you know anything, I do not want to go back during the semester because something happened to my other uniform. You know, just you know have a backup. And then here's my lab coat. Of course, I'm not going to show you guys just because, you know, it has my school's name on it. And I do not feel comfortable saying, you know, what school I went to and stuff like that. I do have my two scrub tops. They're the same color as my scrub pants. And then here is my black polo. Of course, like how I said, I'm not going to show you guys my um, school's name. But yeah, that's basically all I ordered. And, you know, I went over the whole price how much it was for me in you know my previous vlog and stuff like that but basically i have my uniform set i am still looking for shoes so if any of you guys do like you know recommend any white leather shoes please let me know down below in the comments because i do have some sketcher white leather shoes that i did use when i was doing my cna program um but unfortunately i just did not like those shoes they were basically made me super tired my feet were done by me just doing you know a six hour shift and i am not going to be doing six hour shifts once i start clinicals i'm going to be doing 12 hour shifts when i start clinicals in the summer um so yeah let, let if you guys do have any recommendations for any type of white leather shoes please let me know down below in the comments because you know i'm, I'm still in the hunt for me basically you know buying those shoes but yeah we'll see if i do end up finding them if not i'll just you know i'll just you know use my other shoes 
so those are basically all my um scrub now on to nursing expenses so basically i did end up paying for comp leo i signed all my um acknowledgement papers that i did have to sign i had to read all of them you know i did have to read my handbook for the school and then for nursing and stuff like that um i did end up getting my schedule for nursing school you guys i did get this in november and i know i did not update you guys but you know i was sick i was sick also and you know i really just did not want to come on camera um you know not really feeling good and stuff like that so that's why i decided to to vlog today because i feel better today but you know I feel, I feel like it's also it's coming back um but yeah so basically my semester is going to be three thousand dollars and a hundred three thousand one hundred twenty five for nine credits so that's how much it's going to be for me i'm guessing it's around 125 till something but that's that's how much how much my semester is going to be for nursing school um, you know, that is just my classes, you guys. I still have other expenses that I've been, um, you know, looking out for. Let me show you guys my textbooks. Okay, so I got my te textbooks. I currently only have three. I'm still looking for the other ones. You know, I'm just still waiting. Um, you know, I've been procrastinating on me finding my textbooks. But I went on this website. This video is not sponsored or anything, but um, I did see somebody else comment, like, you know, on another on a different website for me to check out. I checked out and unfortunately did not have the books that I needed. But, you know, I'll keep, you know, looking and seeing. But I did go on this website called thriftbooks.com, you guys. So I just went on there. Um, I think it was like during the week that I, I think it was like two weeks ago that I went on that website and I basically, you know, sat down and I was like, I really need to find my school textbooks. Let me see if I can find them on this website. So I basically went on that website um, and I found two of my textbooks and they were pretty cheap, you guys. I was shook because I was like, okay, I'm buying from this website, you know, um, they're probably going to be, you know, highlighted, written on. But in that case, they were not. They were basically brand new. And I was surprised because, you know, of the price that I paid for them. So this is my first book that I um, need for my nursing program. So it's basically called The Art of Nursing. And you guys, this is like brand new. There's no highlighting, nothing. Like the pages are white. There's like nothing wrong with, you know, like the corner corners or none of that. Like this book is brand new so this book on amazon retails for like around 40 dollars and i was just like i'm not going to spend 40 dollars on this book just because i really do not know if i'm going to need it you know throughout my nursing program so um so i found this book this book you guys was ten dollars and 82 cents so i was shook when i saw it on the website i was like i'm gonna buy it like you know right now because the thing about on um, this website thriftbooks.com is when you see a book like you have to buy it because next thing you know if you go back like a couple weeks later you never know if it's gonna be gone so i bought that book so that book was like you know ten dollars and 82 cents then i needed this lab manual so i saw this lab manual on amazon for 30 dollars and you know i was just like oh, okay i'm not gonna buy it yet you know just to wait and then I went on the website, like how I said, and I looked this book up, and it was $10 and something, something change. So basically, you know, it is a lab manual. So for some reason, when I, when I went to go look up this book, I wasn't thinking, you know, it's a lab manual. It's probably going to be written on, you know, like, like in my head, like, you know, I didn't think about that until, you know, it arrived on the house. So this book, like how I said, it retails for $30 on the website was like, 10 and something change none of the pages are um, ripped out none of that like it's not missing no pages and there's only probably like four or five pages that's written in but it's like literally like no and i was shook and it did have like you know i guess when you first sign up um you get a 15 percent off and it was also free shipping i guess they do free shipping once you spend ten dollars and up which i think is good um because you know in other places you know you have to spend like over 25 or 30 dollars up to like 100 for you to get free shipping so i got free shipping and then you know since it was my first time signing up i did receive a 15 percent off coupon my total and en ended up coming out to 18 dollars for both of these books which i saved myself a ton of money because like how i said this book retails 40 dollars on amazon and this was 30 dollars on amazon so that's 70 dollars for you know the just these two books and i saved myself a ton of money 
and of course I'm just you know going to keep checking just in case they do um, put like the other textbooks that I do need so, you know go check out that website or you know link it down below it'll be in the description box for any of you guys that are interested um, because you know half of the time you guys never like literally got literally you guys like you know we have to save as much money as we can because the textbooks are expensive and stuff like that but um so far i bought those two books and then another um book that i did need um i bought that on amazon marketplace for you know a good price um also i'm missing like five five or four books i'm not 100 percent sure um i'm going to be doing like a whole school supplies haul later on sometime in january once I receive, like, you know, all my supplies because, you know, I need to get to it. But, you know, since it's Christmas and stuff like that, I'm just waiting. Um, but basically for Black Friday, it was a fail, you guys. Like, for some reason, I thought that there was going to be, like, a huge sale on Amazon with um, nursing supplies and stuff like that. But, no, it's usually in June or July when Amazon has this huge sale. So basically, you know, it was a bummer. So if you are going to be starting school in the fall of 2020, I would recommend for you guys to wait until June when the, the whole website of Amazon is on sale and basically a lot of stuff are, you know, cheap. Um, you know, because Black Friday was a fail. The only thing I got on Black Friday was my stethoscope, which that already came in. But I'll be showing you guys that, um, you know, once I do my school supplies haul, which that will be in January, once I receive all of my supplies and the rest of my textbooks and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's basically, you know, all the updates um, that has been going on. And, you know, I do not know when I'll be seeing you guys. I do have to film, like, you know, I want to film, like, a chit-chat get ready with me. I did film the volunteer part one. I will be uploading that on my channel, so that's probably going to be my next video. I basically already have it uploaded to YouTube, but since I've been having so much things going on, I haven't had the time, you know, to sit down and do the thumbnail. That's the only thing that's missing. I did film the second part of the volunteer experience. Um, that will be sometime, basically at the end of december if not in january just you know just because you know of holidays and stuff like that so you don't have to schedule out the videos that i have to film for you guys and of course on my volunteer i think i did tell you guys that i was going to postpone my volunteering um so i did end up talking to my coordinator she basically you know told me to postpone my um volunteering because of my sickness i had bronchitis and um Every time I went to the hospital, I felt like I was getting more and more sick. I felt like I was just not getting better, you guys. And since I basically did not have my flu shot yet, um, I feel like also that was like, you know, pushing me back, you know, from me not getting better. So I did talk to my coordinator. She basically gave me basically the whole month of December. Um, I do have to go back December 30th, which is on a Monday, I'm guessing. And I cannot wait to go back i feel like i'm ready i did end up you know waiting for my medication to wear off i'm guessing you have to wait like a week and a half um in order for you to get the flu shot so i waited that time i got my flu shot like two days ago um and i feel good and i'm going to be getting my physical done um next week and you know i do have to give them the paperwork you know that is required i am doing my physical early just because my insurance covers it since i was sick um i had to wait until my sickness weared off and me to me stop taking medications in order for me to take to get my physical that was like you know the thing that was also pushing me back but you know i'm going to be getting it and you know in order for me to put that on by the time you see this and stuff like vlog that. will probably be like once part one is already done and uploaded with um but yes like if you guys have any questions regarding anything about volunteering comment it down below you know i'll get back to you and stuff like that i'm filming with part three which is basically going to be me um you know talking about my experience how it's been so far and basically you know things i've seen and basically things that i have learned um and basically like any advice that I can give out to any of you guys that if you guys do want to start volunteering there and stuff like that. Um, but you know, look out for that video. That'll probably be a, I'll probably upload that video sometime in January. I know I'm saying that that I'm gonna upload all these videos in January. I'm only saying that just because you know it's the holidays and stuff like that. Christmas is coming up basically in two weeks and then you know the week after is New Year's and stuff like that. So that's the only reason why I'm saying that I'm gonna up 
be uploading these videos in January. So stay tuned for all these videos coming up. And like how I have always said, if you guys do have any recommendations on videos, you know, let me know, let me know down below in the comments. And like how I also said, if you do have any questions regarding the volunteering, um, you know, leave them down below. But that's basically it. I know I rambled a lot, but I just wanted to update you guys on little stuff that has been going on regarding nursing school. And, you know, like how I said, I'm going to be honest. And like I, I told you guys, I'm going to be letting you guys know, like, how much it really is Um, once, you know... I'm done purchasing everything um for nursing school. I feel like I'll probably add all my expenses up in that nursing school supplies haul video that I'm going to be filming for you guys once I get all my supplies. Just so you guys can get like, you know, an idea of how much it cost me. Um, Like how I said, every school out there is different and stuff like that. But just so you guys can get an idea of how much you would probably need to save um for nursing school. Because it is expensive, you know, it is expensive. And I feel like a lot of people don't really tell you how expensive it is. They just say that it's expensive. So that's one of the reasons why I do want to let you guys know. So yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching today's little rambled. I know it's probably not like, you know, the best. But I just wanted to update you guys on everything that has been going on. And thank you guys so much to all my new subscribers. Welcome to my channel. And, you know, of course, don't forget to like this video, follow me on Instagram if you haven't. And, you know, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, you guys.